Hello everybody, my name is Kara, and today I'm here with some more booktuber shoutouts. But there's a twist this time, and the twist is that my lovely friend Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe, she sort of turned this into a tag, um, which is recommending books to specific booktubers, and she kind of like combined that in one video, and I just thought that was so brilliant and clever. When she tagged me, I was super excited. I just think this is such a cool idea, like you're combining booktuber shoutouts, recommendations, and a tag video. Like, that's just genius. So the first booktuber I want to talk about today is Rashmika from Rashmika Likes Books. She's just one of the most thoughtful and well-spoken people I know. Like, it doesn't matter what the topic is, if it's a discussion or a tag or a review, she is just, her thoughts are so well put together and she's, she always talks about how she's just kind of going off the cuff with things and I'm just so impressed at how coherent and well expressed her thoughts always are no matter how much prep time she takes or doesn't take. She recently participated in Escape Roll where she shared a little bit of her own poetry every single day of April and I thought that was amazing. She's clearly a very very talented poet and as far as her reading goes she is really open to trying new things. Um, the kind of the focus her channel is taking right now is really focusing on South African offers because she is South African and she just wants to like bring that discussion up more and I think that it's so wonderful and she really features a lot of lesser known works and authors on her channel which I think is so great and I know that whatever she is reviewing she will never sugarcoat it she's very honest and upfront about her feelings about a book and I just really admire that and the book that I'm going to recommend for Rashmika that I think she would really enjoy is Above Us Only Sky by Michelle Youngstone I'm not sure if this fits into the typical genres that she would enjoy but I think the thematic elements and some of the other things about the book are things that she would really I hope connect to historical context is something that she speaks about a lot in the books that she reads and the things that she discusses. And we follow multiple storylines in this book, but one of the main ones is about the treatment of Lithuania during World War II, which is something that doesn't get talked about a lot. So I think she would really appreciate the historical aspect of that. Another thing that I think she would enjoy is that this is a book that doesn't really have a romance angle in it. Like there are there are some romantic relationships that you hear about because you follow multiple characters in a family and those are a part of these characters' lives, but it's not it's not like a romance-centric book at all, and I know that's something that Rashmika tends to avoid, um, so I think she would like it for that reason. And then another thing is that this book has a very, like, bittersweet tone overall, and I feel like with the books that Rashmika reads and tends to enjoy, I think she does gravitate towards that really intense emotional feeling, like not shying away from the negative things in the world. Um, I feel like that's something that she appreciates in the books that she reads, so I think that, I hope that she would enjoy this one. And as with my other recommendations videos, I'm going to link a particular video for each booktuber that I talk about, and for Rashmika, I'm going to link her original tag that she created on African writers, which I think is just so wonderful. That's on my list that I'm going to be filming soon, and it's just such a well thought out tag. This is Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book, and she reads a lot of fantasy, which I obviously really love, and we also share a love for that kind of weird, like dark kind of disturbing sort of fairy tale or fantasy books uh, so that's something else that we have in common and she especially focuses on reading a lot of fantasy and folklore inspired stories from marginalized authors which I think is such a wonderful focus of her channel that she really emphasizes in the books that she reviews and recommends and I really love the precise way that she approaches her reviews and her wrap-ups like I never feel like she's wasting words or rambling or anything. She gets right to the point, but she also gives you all of the detail that you might want to know about a particular book or about a particular subject, and I just am really impressed by that. I think that conciseness is something I could aspire to be <laughs> to be more like, but I just really love the way that she reviews things and that she talks. One of her recent videos that I absolutely adored was something she did on recommending own world mythology books, so books where authors create their own mythologies um, separate from our world, and they might have a little bit of inspiration from our world's mythologies, but they're completely their own, and I just thought that was such a cool recommendations video, and I highly recommend you check that out. And the book that I'm recommending for Jocelyn is A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston, and this is a Thousand One Nights retelling, and I think Jocelyn would like this for a couple of reasons. Um, I think there are some interesting storytelling choices that the author makes that are kind of polarizing, but I enjoyed them and I think they might be something Jocelyn would enjoy too. I think she's enjoyed some books that are a little bit meta in the way that they approach storytelling. I think she's enjoyed those before and this is definitely something that happens in A Thousand Nights. Um, it's really a book about storytelling and especially about women in storytelling and how women telling their own stories can change things and that's something I think Jocelyn would definitely be into. And also the atmosphere in the writing I think is something that she also might get along with. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little, little uncertain about this one because this tends to be one of the least popular retellings. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'm thinking that Jocelyn might. Next is Hannah from Snow White Reader, and she is just one of the sweetest, funniest, most creative people I know. She is just so lovely. Um, I had such a hard time thinking of a particular video to recommend for her because so many of her videos are like so creative and so fun, but the one I'm going to recommend is one that she did kind of recently where she revisited required reading from her high school classes, 
and it was just so funny and also really thoughtful and I love the way that Hannah incorporates both of those things like her reviews are so helpful but she's just so funny about them at the same time and it doesn't feel like she's trying hard at all like she's just naturally a really entertaining hilarious person and another thing I love about her channel is that she's so open-minded about trying new genres or coming back to things that she didn't think she liked I mean you can tell from that required reading video it's like she's not opposed to having her mind changed about things and I just really think that is so cool and the book I'm going to recommend for her is An Assassin's Guide to Love and Treason by Virginia Baker. I read that last year and really enjoyed it and I think Hannah would too because it's this like historical fiction kind of heist story and it also has a strong Shakespeare element and I know that Hannah is a fellow Shakespeare lover. I just feel like this is a book she would get along with because one of the things I enjoyed about it is the balance between the fun, um, the fun sort of spy novel and the really more serious character topics and the really serious political climate of that time. I just think that balance between fun and serious is something that she would ap appreciate in her books and that I also really love about her channel is that balance of entertainment and really helpful information or really like more serious discussion and analysis. I just love that about her channel and I love that about this book and so it seems like a natural combination. Next I'm going to talk about Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe, the lovely lady who created this tag and who tagged me in it. Olivia is another person who reads such a wide variety of things. You know she reads Shakespeare, contemporary, YA. She's just all over the map and I love that because my reading taste is also really varied so I love being able to go to her channel and to see that reflected and to get recommendations for things that I had never even heard of before. I feel like she reads a really great balance of really popular books and really underhyped ones and I really like that mix. Another thing that's really important to her is diversity and representation in books and I think that again that is something that really comes through in her channel and the, the books that she recommends and the topics that she features. I just really appreciate that I can go to her channel for that. The video I'm going to link for her is the first in a three-part series she did a little while back that I thought was just so thoughtful, so well put together, um, and that was on explicit scenes in young adult books. And I think in specifically young adult fantasy is what she talked about. Some of the books she talked about were ones that I enjoyed, but the way she broke down the way that sexual content or explicit content was handled, it was so thoughtful and it really made me reconsider some books that I had read and enjoyed for things that like I hadn't considered, like I hadn't thought about them that way before. And the book I'm going to recommend for Olivia is Noteworthy by Riley Redgate. This is a contemporary that I read a few months ago that I really, really enjoyed. It has incredible diverse cast, something that I know is really important to Olivia in the books that she reads, and this is another book where I feel like the fun aspect is not overtaken by the serious topics and vice versa. I think there's a lot of really important discussions about gender and identity, and yes it is in kind of a fun um, girl dresses up as boy like to join an acapella group, like context, but the more serious issues or implications are not shortchanged, and that was something I really admired about the book and something that I think Olivia could really enjoy too. And it's also, some of it is just like genuinely really funny, and I really grew to love all of the characters in the book, and I just think that all around it's a solid book, and I think Olivia would really enjoy it. Next I have Min Kobayashi, and all of her discussion videos are so thoughtful and so interesting. I love hearing her perspective on things, and the video I'm going to link for her is the one where she talks about why she loves reading, and especially how that relates to uh, dyslexia and just hearing her experience and hearing why books mean so much to her was just such a beautiful and emotional experience and one of the things I love about her channel is that no matter what the video is her pure shining love for literature and for storytelling and like the written word and what it accomplishes in the world it just comes through in all of her videos and it's just like if you need if you want someone to remind you of the power of language watch one of her videos because that's something that I get from all of her videos and she's another person who reads a wide variety of genres and she especially reads a lot of poetry more lately um, which is something that I'm also trying to get more into and so the book I want to recommend to her is uh, Rilke's Poems from the Book of Hours. I think the specific selection that I read was translated by Babette Deutsch. I thought those poems were so beautiful and even though it's really difficult I think to recommend poetry to people because I think poetry even more than novels. It's such an intensely personal experience, but I'm like reasonably confident that she would enjoy some of these poems at least because they're really thoughtful and they have so many layers and the beautiful language is something that you really need to sit with and come back to and I feel like that is a quality that she talks about in the poems that she really enjoys so I would be interested to hear what she thinks of it but I do think she could really get along with some of Rilke's poetry. Next I have Michaela from Michaela Reading and first off I just have to say that she has one of the most pleasant and soothing voices I have ever heard. <laughs> Her channel and content is just so good like she has a way of making me interested in reading things I never thought I would ever care about. <laughs> Um, and I think that's really impressive. Like in her most recent wrap-up, she talked about reading The Hunger Games. I think this was the first time she'd actually finished the series. And even though it wasn't a completely, it wasn't like 100% positive review of the last book, the way she talked about it and the way she like, the way she talked about it like it was sort of a normal book instead of like this phenomenon that is almost like larger than life at this point, 
this is the first time in my life I have ever been like marginally interested in reading The Hunger Games, which is a huge accomplishment. Like I can't even communicate how big of a deal that is. So that should tell you something about her persuasive power with books. She has a really great mix of content, you know, like she's really good at sort of the like staple booktube videos. And she's also really good at more like off the beaten path ones, like how to guide for NetGalley, you know, um, I just feel like her content has a really great variety. And the book that I'm recommending for her is The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reed. For one thing, Michaela is another person who is very um, passionate about representation in books, and this is a really diverse cast. And for another, she does read um, kind of hard-hitting contemporary. I feel like that's one of the genres or subgenres that she tends to gravitate towards, and this is definitely a really powerful one. Um, it deals with sexual assault and rape culture in, I think, a really powerful and thoughtful way, and I think that's something that Michaela would appreciate. You know, this isn't a book that you really recommend because you think somebody would enjoy it and have fun reading it, but it's the kind of thing where I think she would get a lot out of it. And I, I think it's a really, really, really good book, like well-constructed and really powerful. Um, and I think that that's something that Michaela would appreciate as well. And to give you an idea of like the persuasive power of the way she talks about books, I'm actually going to link her most recent wrap up down below. Next, I have Giselle from Giselle Bradley, and she is another one who reads a lot of fairy tale retellings and like fairy tale inspired books. So we always have fun trading recommendations about those. And she also reads a lot of adult romance. So if that's something that you t like read or enjoy, then she's a great channel for that. Um, but she also reads a lot of middle grade. Like I feel like her reading tastes are specific, but also very wide ranging, if that makes sense. Like she knows what she likes likes, but she likes a lot of different things, I guess is the way to is the way to describe that. But I just really love her channel. She does a lot of like kind of live streams or like longer form videos. She does a lot of reading vlogs. Um, she's also one of my co-hosts for the Arnold Style Read Along. She's just got this really warm and welcoming and like kind of cozy like feeling to her videos and to her personality that I really love. And the book I'm going to recommend to her is Bryony and Roses by T. Kingfisher. This is one of my favorite Beauty and the Beast retellings and I think she would really enjoy it. Like I said, we both really like fairy tale retellings, and I feel like we have pretty similar tastes as far as those go. And some things I think she would especially appreciate about this one is that the main character is really clever and practical, and she doesn't make stupid decisions. Like, I know that's a big thing that we both get annoyed by in books. I just really enjoyed this fairy tale retelling and how creative some aspects of it were while also keeping some elements from the original that you don't see explored a lot. Um, like sister relationships, you really see Bryony interact with her sisters at the beginning of that book, and I know that's something that she has enjoyed about other Beauty and the Beast retellings, so I would be really interested to hear how she feels about this one. I just think overall it's a really solid book. Even if Beauty and the Beast is not like one of your favorite things to read retellings about, I think you could really enjoy that book because it's just a really well constructed like group of characters and the world building is really interesting. The writing is fantastic, like a perfect blend of humor and like lovely lines of description. I just like really, really enjoyed it. I think Giselle would really like it and it's just, it's a great book. And the last person I'm going to talk about today is Taylor from Page Screen Taylor and she is my other Artemis Fowl co-host. So I have just really loved getting to know her through this project because we didn't really know each other before um, before we started co-hosting this together. And it has been just such a joy to get to know Taylor and to like become friends with her. She's just such a lovely and warm and funny person. I just love talking to her about anything, Artemis Fowl or, or otherwise. She's just such a great person to talk to. And she also on her channel, she incorporates some like booktube stuff, but also some other, um, some other kind of areas. Like she is really interested in film. And like the video I'm going to link for her is a recent one where she talked about some of her favorite movies. And it was just so fun hearing her perspective about it. I feel like her channel is one that also has a really great balance of analysis and kind of more like emotional responses to things because I feel like a lot of us, the way that we read and review stuff, it's kind of a combination of like objective merit and like personal preference. I feel like Taylor does a fantastic job of integrating those into her videos and into her reviews and content. And she's also a big Jane Austen fan, which I love and we've talked about that before. And the book I'm going to recommend for Taylor is Sorcery and Cecilia by Patricia C. Reedy and Caroline Stivermer. And this is just such a fun book. It's like a Regency set novel um, that's epistolary, so it's told in letters. But I think that if that's not something people tend to read, I think you could still enjoy this because it doesn't, like the format doesn't, um, it doesn't prevent you from enjoying the characters and the story or anything. Like it doesn't feel artificial at all. And the reason I think Taylor would really enjoy this is because to me it kind of feels like if Jane Austen had written a fantasy novel, and I know that's a big claim, I'm not saying that these authors completely replicate Austen's style and um, characterization and everything, but I do feel like I get a little bit of the same flavor from this book, and I would be really interested to hear how Taylor feels about this book. I think it's something she could enjoy. Okay everybody, so those are some more booktubers I love. Of course I plan to do many more booktuber shout out videos, and I just love the fact that this one was kind of themed around book recommendations. I think that is such a cool idea that Olivia came up with, so shout out to her. I think the way this one works is the people that you mentioned 
mentioned are the people that you tagged so I'm officially tagging everyone who I talked about in this video um, and the great thing about this one is that even if you're not the person that somebody's specifically recommending a book for you might get an idea for a new book that you would love even though it's not recommended to you specifically I think that's so cool so thank you guys so much for watching I will see you soon with another video and I hope you love the next book you read bye